one of the reputations I have around the food in my own cooking is as a salad queen. And that's because I just love fresh produce and I love making up delicious homemade salad dressings from fresh ingredients and um, my own spices and flavors. Hi, welcome back to my May video series on seasons and cycles. Today I'm going to talk to you about my journey with food because I'm a serious foodie and I think if you know a little bit about that side of me, it'll give you some insight into who I am. And to be honest, if I'm going to go there, in both books that I've written so far and the third that is in the works, there are plenty of scenes where they take place in restaurants or kitchens and talk about delicious food and yummy wine and incredible to die for chocolate and all these kind of things. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to look at my food journey through my 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. So back when I was 20, I was a single mom going to university, and I had a really, really tight food budget. And I'm ashamed, but I have to be honest and say, it wasn't exactly healthy food that I fed myself and my little girl. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but because we couldn't afford <laughs> too much junk food and eating out, but it was a diet based a lot on things like ground beef and pasta, you know, hamburger helper kind of thing, tuna, um, frozen vegetables, just whatever was on sale. That's how my cooking got started. So I can't claim that I was in any way, shape or form a foodie in those days. But then in my 30s, um, well actually going back in my 20s, I became type 1 diabetic. And that took me on a journey into the more nutritional side of things. Although I have to also admit that at that time, um, this is, I guess, late 1980s, early 90s, I can't remember right now, um, the kind of nutrition advice that you were getting wasn't necessarily up to the same standard as it is today. And for instance, I was encouraged to by my dietitian to consume things like Diet Coke and um, other products with aspartame like Diet Jello and whatever else was on the market at the time. So I did eat a fair bit of those kind of things and I drank way too much Diet Coke, I drank way too much coffee, didn't drink a lot of water, thought that seemed like a bit of a waste of time, but I did start to get more into eating fresh foods and making my own salads, making my meals from more from scratch, not 100%, but moving in that direction. Then when I got into my 40s, uh, I had a little more money and time to experiment. I started watching, I think my oldest daughter got me hooked on Food Network, and we used to watch different shows like Iron Chef and Master Chef and all these kinds of shows about food. And that's when I really started developing my interest in becoming a better cook and also in eating out and trying other chef inspired cuisine. So at that time I gave up the Diet Coke for red wine, I gave up the fast food for dark chocolate <laughs> and um, I experimented in there with being a pescatorian and being a vegetarian but as it turns out for me, on my journey, uh, being a bit of a flexitarian and trying to incorporate a wide variety of different foods is the style of eating that suits me the best. And eating a bit of protein, fat, and carbohydrate at all my meals really helps me to maintain my blood sugar to the best of my ability. So that's how I like to eat. I don't eat a lot of sugar. Um, I don't eat a lot of foods that aren't good for me, baked goods and whatnot, but I do enjoy baking and I love my KitchenAid. It's one of the best deals I got here in Saudi Arabia when uh, KitchenAid came for sale at five in the morning on one of my sleepless nights that I scored. Because usually these things get scooped up, all the good stuff gets scooped up before I'm even awake and on my phone. So yeah, um, I actually decided I was encouraged by a, a lady here on Salwa, we were riding the shopping bus, 
and I was talking about how this, I've always had this dream that I'd love to have my own restaurant, probably from watching those shows like Restaurant Makeover on Food Network. And she said, well, have you ever tried cooking, you know, as a, as a career or as an opportunity, like a lot of the ladies here on the compound do offer different food. And I said, no, I hadn't tried it and decided to take that on. I started a business called Traveling Flexitarian for a short time. And while I enjoyed it, um, it wasn't quite what I was looking for in terms of creativity. Because in order to cook bulk meals for a large group of people, you're on your feet all day long, chopping and cutting, and that didn't really suit me. And then also you're limited by the kind of foods you can create. One of the reputations I have around food in my own cooking is as a salad queen. And that's because I just love fresh produce and I love making up delicious, homemade salad dressings from fresh ingredients and um, my own spices and flavors. I like to pick up these little handy salad dressing jars and maybe once a week or once every two weeks depending on what we're eating that time, I'll make up one of these and use it with all the salads that we eat that, at that time and I'll switch it up a little bit each time I make one. Maybe I'll use a different vinegar, or maybe a different spice, or a different, instead of lemon, lime juice, that kind of thing. So, in my mind, every proper salad needs a massive wooden salad bowl so that you can correctly toss, so that every single ingredient in your salad is coated in your delicious salad dressing. And I feel like a salad is delicious with your fresh produce, but it really goes up a level when you add some kind of cheese option, and that could be like a halloumi cheese cube, or maybe some grated Parmesan fresh, or maybe some cubed up feta. And I also love to pull the move with the saucepan, butter, and toasting some nuts or seeds, pine nuts, almonds, pecans, something like that to just add a crunchy, toasty, buttery flavor. So that's me and my food journey. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of light and fun in the video series and hope to see you next week. Bye for now. Those are available online at Amazon, Chapters Indigo, or at Barnes & Noble. Or you can head on over to my website www.lindafeschmidt.com. Click on My Books in the menu bar and all the buttons are right there.